It is Wednesday, March 3rd, um, 2010, 4 a.m. I'm going to read to you off of my screen. Hello, my name is Justin Nicholas Elam Ruff. I am publicly broadcasting myself in response to Guru's health situation. I am the nephew of Guru Keith Elam, the son of Guru's older sister, the grandson of Guru's father. In wake of the numerous reports about Guru's health and current condition, I've decided to clear the air and explain the issue behind the situation. The man in control of Guru's affairs is Solar of Seven Grand Records. Many know him as Super Producer Solar, Guru's sidekick for the last six years. He also has primary control over the, over the decisions made for Guru's health in the hospital. Now, last I checked, it was the family's right to have a say in what goes on in a hospital when a family member falls ill. For some reason, it does not apply in this case. After Guru fell ill, for reasons I will not disclose, he was checked into a New York hospital Tuesday, February 2nd, 2010. Guru's family was not notified of this until Friday, February 16th, 2010. That means that two weeks went by before my family was notified by Solar that Guru was in the hospital. Based on the severity of the news that was shared, my other uncle and my mother decided that they needed to head to New York right away to be by their brother's side. When they informed Solar that they were headed to New York to see their brother, Solar told them that Guru did not want to be seen in the state that he was in and advised them not to come. They respected his wishes and canceled their plans to see him. One week later, on Tuesday, February 24th, 2010, my uncle, Guru's older brother, was notified by Solar that Guru was now in a coma. They both raced to New York to be by Guru's side that weekend. While they were there, they found out that Guru had gone into cardiac arrest and as a result ended up in a coma. Guru's sister and brother said that they thought about changing the papers that would give them control over decisions on behalf of an incompetent patient, but they never acted on it. In hindsight, that would have been the smart move. A couple of days after Guru's siblings visited him, word got out to the public on Sunday, February 28, 2010, that Guru was in the hospital, went into cardiac arrest, and was now in a coma. Since the information leaked, Solar has completely cut us off. My family has no way of knowing what is going on with Guru's situation. Solar has complete control over the flow of information given from the hospital and will not disclose any information with us. The doctors and the staff at the hospital will not discuss any information with Guru's family. So essentially, if my grandfather, Guru's father, decided that he wanted to head up to New York and see his son, they would not let him because he is not Solar. Now, in order for the family to change the situation, we have to hire a lawyer to take this to court, and it would be sorted out over a couple of weeks. Unfortunately, we do not have a couple of weeks. My Uncle Guru is in a serious state of health right now. I feel as though it is the family's right to know his status. I know that Solar has been his right-hand man day in and day out for the last six years, but that does not give him the right to make decisions on whether or not his family gets to see Guru or learn about his status. The fact that he is acting like this lets me know that he does not have Guru's best interest in mind. It is a control thing with Solar. My family continually tried to reach him these last couple of days to find out whether Guru is going to have surgery or not, to see if he awoke from the coma, and to gain any info to calm our nerves and take our minds off the wide range of reports that surfaced over the internet. I took it upon myself and made an effort to connect with Solar, thinking that he would be sensible with me. On Tuesday, on, on Tuesday March 2nd, 2010, at 7.19 p.m. Pacific Time, West Coast, I sent Solar a text message that read, 
Hey, this is Justin, Guru's nephew. I was just checking to see if you could update me on Guru's status. There are numerous conflicting reports about the situation, and I want to ease my mind with the truth. Please let me know at your earliest convenience. Thanks. On Tuesday, March 2nd, 2010, at 9.31 p.m. Pacific Time, Solar sent me a response that read, Trish, my mother, started this, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, and Guru would never have told her he was in the hospital. This is horrible what she did, exclamation point, exclamation point. Now I need to care for Guru. Peace. On Tuesday, March 2nd, 2010, at 9.50 p.m., I wrote Solar back saying, I'm not Trish, and I have nothing to do with that. All I'm asking for is an update of his situation. I'm stressing out and can't sleep over this. I'm not sure if you understand what my uncle means to me. You don't have to talk to her or anyone else, but please don't leave me hanging. He has yet to text me back. Ten minutes later, at 10 p.m. Pacific time, after I sent Tolar my last, Solar my last text, I looked at Solar's Twitter page and he posted, Solar will be providing the only accurate info on Guru and will be doing interviews soon. I was left in shock after all of this unfolded. I then felt a surge of justified rage and spent the next 30 minutes trying to calm myself down. Here I am having to contact this man through text messages to try to see how my uncle was doing and I cannot get an answer. Then he decides to post on Twitter that he will disclose information soon as if my family doesn't matter and we all have to wait until he feels the time is right. Does this seem right? This man Solar has to have complete control over everything including my right to know how my family member is doing. Guru has always been there for me since I was a little boy. Whenever I reached out to him, he has always had my back. He has exerted his time and energy to teach me countless lessons on the ways of the world, schooling me like the wise professor he is. I've seen him perform more than I can count on both hands. I even spent two weeks with him for a high school internship to learn the ways of the music business. He has always been present in my life, even though he has had differences with other, with other family members. So I know for a fact that he would not have liked how Solar handled this. What Solar doesn't understand is that Guru is a part of who I am. There are three men who have instilled the values and wisdom that contribute to the man I am today. My biological father, my stepfather, and my uncle Guru. Solar doesn't know that my biological father died last year and how it affected me. He doesn't know that if Guru were to pass, that would mean that two-thirds of myself would be gone in the span of two years. He doesn't understand that not being able to get a simple status update on Guru's condition affects me to the core. I would love to explain this to Solar, but I feel as though he wouldn't care. So, I've decided to share this with you. To let you know what is going on behind this already tragic situation, this added stress of not knowing what is happening to a family member of mine has taken a toll on me. I ask that you put yourself in my situation and see that this is flat out wrong, especially in a time of crisis. Mainly, I hope that this can be passed along to some public official or a person of high stature who can help us with this situation. Please, please get this into the right person's hands. I don't know anyone who can help immediately, so I'm asking if you do. I do not trust Solar. There are many reasons why I know he is a very manipulative person and has been so with Guru throughout the course of their relationship. Many people can attest to that. I will not discuss, address, whatever those people nor the situations, since this isn't the time to do so. This statement was completely written by me and I was not coerced into doing it by anyone but myself. I take full responsibility for it. This was written in reaction to feeling powerless in a dire situation. I know that some people would disagree with what I have said, but just ask, just, just ask yourself what you would do if your back was against the wall. Something has to happen soon because time is of the essence and decisions need to be made by the right people. Please pass this on. Please continue to pray and have faith for Guru. 
I can be contacted at Justin Nicholas Elam Ruff at gmail.com. On Facebook, you can find me. My name is Justin Nicholas Dash Elam Ruff, R U F F. Or on Twitter.com backslash Justin N Elam Ruff. I put all of the information on the uh, top right corner. Thank you.